Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel or if this is your first time here, welcome. What you are looking at is my look from the living room to my patio space. Okay, it looks kind of normal if you if you look at it, but I'm about to get up close and just show you how neglected, how dirty, how not kept it is. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all some up close shots. I thought this would be a good opportunity to share kind of like my patio refresh, my patio clean with me, show you how something as simple as adding plants, cleaning up the space, and just revamping it a little bit without it being this massive major makeover to hopefully inspire and motivate y'all to get outside and just kind of like spruce up refresh and just uplift your outdoor space i have a pretty small outdoor patio space i have plans this summer to expand and really give a lot of attention to my backyard but I won't let that be an excuse to just let it be what it is. You see this? Dirt, dust. I have plants that have literally fallen over and I've just left them there. I'm not proud about that. Look at that. I'm making a sad face. That's how dirty it is. Yuck, right? I live in Florida. It has been so cold. It has been so windy. It has been so dry. And I'll take responsibility. I have not been sitting out here i have not been spending any time out here so you'll 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 see how bad it has been so if you enjoy these kind of videos please give this video a thumbs up i'm gonna walk you through what i'm doing um and what you see in front of you this is just <laughs> i think it's kind of self-explanatory it is definitely just unkept you know it's just a lot of weeds and it's just messy dirty in this video, we are going to lift that level of dirt. We are going to clear out those weeds. We are going to add some greenery, some plants, and a couple small other things to just make my patio something to love again. Oh, look. Let's look. Mm. Yeah, that's that plant I told you about. Fell over. Out of sight, out of mind, okay? We're going we're gonna to toss that. Get a good look. Because this is the last time that you'll see it this way. But first, let's head to Lowe's. I already have in my mind what I want in the space. And also, I want to get some planters for some other plants that I'm going to put out there. First and foremost, I absolutely love plant shopping. When I first got into plants, it was so hard for me not to bring home everything that I love to see. But now I just enjoy it. I enjoy walking through the aisles and admiring their beauty. Now for that center table in the patio, I know I'm going to go for a succulent bouquet and I want it to be very full, very interesting. And you'll see the one that I chose for the patio pretty soon here. I also was looking for planters for Two Birds of Paradise that I recently got from Ikea. They have a large selection of planters. My main goal and reason for a planter outdoors is something very heavy like cement and a lot of theirs, while they look good, they just weren't heavy and I found these two, which I don't absolutely love the decor piece of them, but they were heavy, so. So I found the succulent arrangement that I absolutely loved. Now let's begin. Now first let me move these curtains, cause they long and they get in the way, okay? Um, and I wanna, I wanna preface and say, when you look at it, first glance, it doesn't look that bad, okay? I'm fixing the camera, cause I wanna give you all the angles. You gonna open this up as wide as it goes, just for this. Okay, it's a special occasion. <laughs> My leaf blower is everything, y'all. I use this several times a day in so many different ways. Um, but like I was saying, looking at it, it doesn't look terribly bad. I already gave y'all the up-close shots, so you know what it is. But for me personally, it's always about what I feel. How I feel when I step into a space. Not how it looks from an image or how it looks to other people. A, how it looks to me. But more importantly how it feels so we are going to step one kind of lift the dirt take out the things start from a clean slate and then really getting into giving this patio a facelift i'm just doing more and more blowing y'all there's so much dust dirt 
my patio isn't covered much so it's well it's not covered at all actually and a lot of rain wind just blows all type of mud and dirt through there so there's stuff y'all can't see that i can actually see and that's what i'm doing right there i ordered pillow covers for these two pillows because i'm over that pattern um, i ordered two just kind of like a gray tone pillow cover off of amazon that just hasn't come yet but it's about the color of the middle of that carpet which i also got from amazon let me know if y'all want me to link that below. I can definitely do that for y'all. I love that outdoor carpet. It stays flat. It doesn't budge. It doesn't move. Well, obviously, there's a table on it, but I've loved it so far. It's very easy to clean as well. I'm kind of over these little pedestals here. I feel like that gold and white is pretty gaudy. What I might do is give them a really good clean and paint them either like a textured ceramic white or just like a matte black. That's why I haven't given them up just yet because I do think I'm gonna spray paint them. Tell me what y'all think about that because I think that that'll, that'll definitely change up the vibe of those. But the gold and white, too shiny, too in your face for me. So I'm, I'm definitely done with that. Now right here, I'm just bringing to the center the things that I know are gonna come with me. Gonna come with me. <laughs> All the things that I know that I'm gonna keep in that space, except for that, that's gonna go in the trash but I had to get a trash bag. So now that I have that, we can start tossing things that I know for, look, I had to double check because, you know, sometimes I get ants and I needed to remember what the name of that ant spray was because it actually was good. All right, so we're over here by the weeds. Just looking at things. You'll see when I'm over here, I'm like grabbing a pot. Also fixing the camera several times because I want to give you all the views. The gold is completely off of this dragonfly, which is what I was showing y'all. I'm moving these sheer curtains out of the way, which by the way, $5 from Ikea, but they are ragged, toe up, okay, but they are still hanging, so I'm just still keeping them there. Um, and again, you'll see me grab things, drop things. I'm terrified of this little space here, because in my mind, I don't know what's underneath these weeds, y'all. I'm, 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 a, I'm scary when it comes to things like that. So you'll see me like pick up something, drop it and look like spooked for whatever reason. But it's because I actually am. I, I, I got to see what's going on before I can really get into it. But yeah, I'm taking the pots. I'm taking everything that has like extra dirt and dust I can lift off, giving it a quick little blow and moving it out of the way until I know what I'm going to do with it. This is literally a bag full of, what is it called? What did I do that picture with? I forget what it's called. Somebody comment that below, but it's that spackle stuff. I don't know. Anyway, this is another little planter. I'm going to move the planter out of the way. Okay. These little screens have been here since I bought this house. I literally forgot they were even there. We're gonna toss them. They, they don't serve me a purpose, okay? So we're gonna get those out of the way. It's one of those things where I just kinda like put them there at one point and forgot all about them. So boom, out of there. And I'm just like carefully <laughs> grabbing the other things that are in this space, y'all. I don't know. Yeah, this is weird. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of voiceovers. Tell me what y'all are thinking of this kind of makes me feel weird to do voiceovers on my own content but this seems fitting for this situation here um, I'm looking in here I'm just making sure there's no lizards or anything <laughs> this is real life this is real life I had to kick it out you know make sure nothing stays back okay so now that we got that emptied out we're gonna get that out of the way now look this is deep this is deeper than it actually looks okay yeah, it's bad. I have a weed trimmer and we're gonna pull it out. Okay, we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna clear this space up. But first I gotta like move things out of the way so that it doesn't get in the way, okay? All right, so I, I do wanna say that I didn't pull out my pressure washer, which I have because I purposely just didn't wanna deal with water this day. I've already, I'm gonna pull out my weed trimmer and we're messing with a lot of grass, a lot of dirt. I just didn't 
want too much so I just chose to sweep and use my blower for now because I don't think it was just too bad so there is my weed trimmer y'all mm -mm -mm. we're changing out the battery now look it's getting real <laughs> this is the second time I'm using this by the way and every time I use it I get so much grass on my legs this is sped up to like eight times so like I'm not saying it took forever but it just took a lot longer than what it looks like there's so many levels to these weeds they were tangled up along you see there's the grass I'm showing it to you <laughs> um, I even have that guard thing on it but I still end up getting grass on my leg but I'm gonna show y'all later I got creative I know y'all gonna judge me but I'm just blowing off the grass as much as I can cleaning as I go okay all right we're gonna rake it out we're not focusing on the quality of the grass here okay look look we're one thing at a time but I'm gonna rake this out just so we can kind of clear that debris this is over on the other corner my little cooler that I used to take to the beach with me y'all that cooler so small I could barely fit anything in that okay um, why I have a plate full of coins <laughs> It's a long story. It's not even worth telling. Just know that they were very wet. I just needed them to dry and then I forgot about them. Such is life. I'm gonna get the rocks, the dirt, the debris, all that over here. This little shady corner, that's what I'm calling it. This corner was shady, full of weird, random, dirty things. And y'all saw that? The cover just fell. The cover just fell and then it gave me an idea the moment that it did fall. So I'm blowing off the dirt, blowing off the dirt. I'm gonna sweep that a little bit more, okay? Cause we wanna give it a nice clean, not a deep clean, but as far as lifting that dirt, oh, hold on, let me show you this. Because that cover fell off, it gave me an idea. I had a second set of this like outdoor covers. If you've been here a while, I changed the outdoor cover in the front of the house and it was actually a two pack. And I've just had this for forever. I've been meaning to do this back here, but I guess that falling kind of, um, that falling just kind of told me it was time. Time to switch it out, a very small change, but it is the small things that really make the big difference, y'all. Um, it's no longer going to be yellow. It's no longer gonna be half open. It didn't even close all the way. So it's just a very quick and easy way of updating that. And I got it from Amazon. So if you want the link to that, I'll drop it too. Now look at this. Dirty. Look how dirty this is, y'all. It's just weathered, okay? Like I said, I have not been out here. Nothing but dirt and grime. So I wanted to give y'all a close-up, give you a nice, satisfying, clean sensation, okay? A lot of y'all like this. Some of y'all don't. Hey, hey, I like it. I like to see things clean. There were a couple of spots that were like, like glue almost. I don't know, I don't even know what that was, but it was harder to get off of. So I had to give that a real good scrub, a deep cleaning, and that's what I did. I love that Miss Meyer soap. Not only does it smell amazing, it actually cleans really, really good. Snowdrop, that's my favorite scent of Miss Meyer's. Comes around during Christmas time and I stock up. Have, have you smelled that? And what is your favorite scent of Miss Meyer's if you enjoy it? Now this is, look at that dirt, oh my goodness, yuck. <laughs> this is really, really dirty, y'all. Um, and I'm just kind of cleaning this off in layers. And if you look closely, this is a little table that I got. I think it's actually a side table. I got it from the thrift store in the very first patio makeover. I painted it by hand. Um, so you'll see that there are some spots where the paint has chipped and fallen off. That's That's fine for me. Right now, it's about cleaning it. I have plans for the backyard for like getting a new table and things like that. So I don't really care to revamp, repaint, or like make this up because it's not going to be a permanent piece in my backyard patio area. But I definitely wanted to lift all that dirt and clean it off. Um, you know, rinse off all the soap and just give everything a nice clean. We're doing finishing touches out here. Okay, we're gonna pop that back on there, nice and fresh. 
I decided to swap out the chairs this time, kind of put the wicker type chairs more on the side. Look at that candle. Oh my goodness, y'all. This candle was so dirty. Granted, it was literally on the, and I put it right back where it was, which is probably not a good idea. <laughs> Obviously not a good idea. It's gonna get dirty like that all over again. So I think I might move it, but um, I cleaned it to the best of my ability, okay? And for me to actually use it, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to seal that crack open. I purchased this candle out of desperation for $25 at Target. You better believe I'm gonna keep it out here, okay? It is an outdoor candle. Again, I am just cleaning, cleaning, moving things here. And I think I like, I'm kind of playing around with how I'm moving around the chairs. And I like it like just straight ahead. I was gonna angle it, but I like the straight ahead way. And I like the switching of the chairs, especially because the wind blows from the back and those wicker ones kind of move often. These ones that are black and beige, they are heavier. So that I think they're gonna do a whole lot better in that spot versus the wicker type ones, which the wicker looking, they're not actually wicker. They're like a, I don't even know. Don't, don't get me to lying. But the wicker looking chairs are also from Amazon. Okay, we're gonna bring those over, put them in their spots. Like I said, I actually have two pillow covers coming that will be gray. So those pattern prints you will no longer see. I'm just moving things back. What's crazy is I just feel like it's really just giving me so much more space. Y'all, this plant was so beautiful when I first got it. It's all my fault. Like, there's no way that this plant should look like this. But look, what are you going to do? <laughs> Time to go. It's a new season. We're bringing out the greenery, okay? So let's bring out that blower. Now, we can't just toss things to the side. We are actually going to you know, break it up, throw it in the trash, get rid of what we need to do. Look, the cluttering is done, but it, it's really not ever done. Hey, it's me. Let's get back in here. So here is the pot that I got. This is actually from Marshall's. No, this is from TJ Maxx, sorry. Like I said, I don't love the pattern of this, but they were only $29.99 and they were super heavy and a really nice size. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't know, tell me what y'all think. They're perfect for what I need them for. And what I really want, to be honest, is like a ceramic type stone look, more rounded, if that makes sense. But the very heavy ones, actual cement, are, are expensive. And I'm not, I'm not paying that right now. So tell me what y'all think about those planters. Who remembers this planter? Ooh, I still love it. I still love it. I think it's so unique. I've seen it several times in the store, but I still love it. I had it. Bought it last year. And check me out. I, I feel you judging. Ooh, fashion, work, work, okay? This is my <laughs> concoction to try and avoid the grass from taking over my pants. Oh, I got, I got on goggles. Y'all will be proud. Y'all, I have to put goggles on for this, okay? That grass just jumps into my eyeballs. It did several times. I didn't show you those clips because I was embarrassed because I knew better. Okay, so I'm out here. I'm out here looking like a butcher. Looks like I am on the farm. All I need is the gloves. And I don't want to even think about that. But you know what I mean? You know, butchers look, you know, without, mm, yeah, let's give me that. But I'm out here. I'm out here in the weeds. You know what was going on in my mind while doing this? Oh my God, please don't let any baby bunnies be in here. That's why I tried to like trim it in layers from the top to the bottom. I just didn't want to like chop nothing up. I just felt like, oh, I, just the way my mind works, y'all, I was scared while doing this because I just felt like something was in here. It's kind of how I feel about the ocean. I do not like things I can't see. I don't know what's under there, so I proceed with caution. I'm actually doing a good job, so I'm gonna go ahead and give myself props, okay? Even though I look crazy right now, okay? Look at me, knocking it down. And by the way, I actually have a lawn service that cuts my grass front and back every other week, but it's been winter time and our grass goes dormant, so it has not been growing. So I had suspended the service. Now that we've gotten rain and everything's growing again, 
I can't start it yet because if you don't know, I resodded my entire front lawn and I can't yet mow on it and you have to go over that to get to my backyard. So this is just a sacrifice I have to make right now. I also definitely, when I do get them back here cutting my grass, don't want them to judge me. Okay, I don't wanna be that one. So I want it to be maintained a little bit. And just like I remember, that succulent arrangement fits perfectly in this planter. And instead of putting it at the bottom, I went ahead and put it at the top this time, which elevates it so much more. Ooh, look at me, bringing out the babies. Oh my goodness, yes. You see that? I got these Birds of Paradises from Ikea, $44.99 a piece, which is a really good price for that size. But you can get plants for really good prices, Home Depot, Lowe's, also Ikea, but they are just gorgeous for the space. Oh my goodness. Tell me what you think. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you this half moon solar power wind chime, y'all. Beautiful off of Amazon. This little ball lights up at night. Wait until you see it. Wait until you see it. But first, tell me how you enjoy this before and after.